Welcome to Amro Music. Today we're going to learn how to restring French horn or trombone thumb rotor valves. These are also called trigger valves or change valves. There are several different setups for trigger valve mechanisms, so we will be demonstrating on two of the popular ones, first on French horn and then on trombone. First, let's look at a few of the parts we will be dealing with. Here we have the lever and the lever screw. This is the stop arm and the stop arm screw. The middle part is called the rotor arm and we won't be using this screw. Cut your string to about six inches and tie a small knot on one side of it. Just make a loop and pull the end through it. Then put the string through the bottom lever hole inward towards the rotor arm. If the end of the string is frayed, make a fresh diagonal cut and then try again. The next step is to pull the string around the rotor arm and then under and around the stop arm screw. At this stage, it's important to hold the lever away from hitting other parts of the instrument and make sure the stop arm is in the closed position. Tighten down the stop arm screw onto the string while holding the lever in place and keeping the slack out of the string. Our next step is to take the string under itself and then through the top lever hole away from the rotor arm. Now pinch and hold the string and stop arm in place while you loop it around the lever screw. A quick trick for this is to roll the string between your fingers, thumb over index, to make the loop that you need and then pull the loop tight around the lever screw before tightening it down. Now let's take a look at a slightly different trigger mechanism setup on a trombone. First, make your small knot. Now thread the string through the bottom lever hole inwards towards the rotor arm. Pull the string over and around the rotor arm and then under and all the way around the stop arm screw. While holding the lever in place, pull out the slack from the string and tighten down the stop arm screw. Take the string under itself and the lever to complete the loop around the rotor arm and then back up through the top lever hole away from the rotor arm. Make a small loop in the string and wrap it around the lever screw. Pull out the slack and make sure the stop arm is in the closed position, then tighten the lever screw. To learn about adjusting these valves when they are loose or out of alignment, go and watch our video called How to Restring a French Horn Rotor Valve. If you have any other questions or want to see anything else about instrument maintenance, leave us a comment below. That's all for now. Have a musical day. Amro Music, since 1921.